says, here comes Raftery. Our official tale of the tape on paper. This should be one of the best of the night with the stats on both fighters being very close. Biggest difference, Hamilton making his pro debut while Raftery three pro fights in. Let's head now back into the cage for Britt Talbert. First, fighting out of the red corner, making his professional debut with us this evening. Standing at five feet, six inches tall, weighing in at 136 pounds. He comes to us from Eastern Idaho at Twin Falls, representing Scobos MMA, Joe the Manwich Hamilton! The Manwich? I like the throwback to Sloppy Joe reference there. I like <laughs> definitely, that. Definitely, and definitely. Definitely got some uh, fans in the, in the crowd tonight, too. He has yeah, a short two hour drive. Pro record with three wins against zero losses, standing in at five feet, seven inches tall, and weighing in at 134 and a one half pound from right here in Boise, Idaho, representing Combat Fitness and Straight Blast Gym, Idaho. Brendan Raftery! Also a lot of fans uh, tonight. Yep. So this is yep. going to be an exciting fight. Once again, our referee fight. for this fight is Mr. Scott Martin. It's actually Brendan Raftery's and sister now, who sang the national okay. anthem for us. Here we go with another downtown Rona! And let's see, what do you think? Well, do you foresee uh, on the ground fight, or are these guys going to want to throw the strikes and I like the I think I like the strikes a little bit more. I don't I, know enough about the sports, some of the intricacies. There's it's good both ways. Everything is hard. It's amazing the skills on the ground, but my favorite personally has always been the strikes. There's not a fighter that's fought tonight that wouldn't absolutely dominate me in, in a setting like this. So I mean you just you gotta have a lot of respect with what these guys do, period. Definitely. Both guys coming up very intense right now. We almost landed in our lap as we're just underway in the first round. Ringside here at CenturyLink Arena. Front Street fights brought to you by bodybuilding.com. 30 seconds into the first round, Joe Hamilton and Brendan Raftery. Hamilton right now with the top position. Good camera work up above by Dave Falcone. Troy Sloppy Oppie also here doing some damage with the picture taking device. Jesse Clark here too. God, they. They did break out the 18 force tonight, Yabo. Hey, it's a big night here in Boise. Arm, Some positional work going on now as Hamilton continues to have the upper hand in terms of uh, being on top, if you will. Yep, he's definitely you know controlling the fight right now, being on top, you know, trying to keep the fight on the mat. And you said this is something for Raftery. If this goes on very long, it. It takes a lot of gas out of the tank there. It does, and then you get frustrated. And then when you do get up, you know, sometimes you're timid to throw a lot of the strikes because you're worried the guy's going to take you down. So this is why training on getting out of these situations as a striker is so important. They continue to just kind of scoot their way around the, around the ring here. Definitely was going for something there, but might be looking to make it slam here. I think I saw this on uh, what was that movie called? The one where they sing, Have I Had the Time of My Life? Dirty Dancing. <laughs> there at the end, nobody puts baby in a corner. I don't know how long uh, Hamilton can hold him up here like that. That's going to be taxing uh, fatigue wise. Raftery trying to pull free. Hamilton a pretty good kick, but then Raftery returns one right back. And back we are at a square in the middle of the ring. Good start here for Hamilton over the first two and a half minutes. Three five-minute rounds in all. Let's see Raftery here now trying to change things up. A couple tricky kicks. Try and get the pace, pick up the pace a little bit maybe. Definitely is, wants a strike, but again, Hamilton wants to take it to the mat. Good shoot there, got the shoulder right in on the belly button. If this was football, that's a textbook tackle right there. <laughs> Definitely. And like before, um, Brendan, you know, wasting so much energy trying to get out of that position on the ground before finally getting up, 
throwing a few strikes, and now again, back on the mat, on his back. Hamilton trying to further establish position here. Got a minute and a half left in the first round. Rafferty, though, looking you know very calm on his back, though. He's not in bad position. No, he's protecting Hamilton himself. Hamilton just missed with a couple there. Right in front of us here. It, it, it does look like Hamilton maybe has some sort of a background in wrestling, just the way he's positioning himself. Definitely. Like I said before, you, you know, coming into MMA, you can either be a striker or a wrestler, and it always seems that when you get into the fight, you go back to what you know best. After he tries to spring free, Hamilton tosses him back down, and now they're back up. 40 seconds to go here in the first round. Joe Hamilton and Twin Falls in the blue. Brendan Raftery of Boise in the black. Raftery looking to strike again. Both fighters looking for an opening for their next move here as we're inside 20 seconds now. Hamilton with Raftery pushed up against the outside of the cage. Once again, those Raftery, they're doing those strikes. You don't want to get that close because then Get on the cage and get put on your back. Yeah. So. Just landed some kicks to the ribs there. Oh, big! Oh, oh saved oh, by the boy. A huge knee uh, right at the last second. Hamilton. Which I think with that, that was knee gonna go buckler. Any longer, that, that fight could have been over right there. Wow. Let's see if we get another look at that one here on cable one. That one, that's one. Let's see if we get it here. Watch the right knee coming up. Right there, just right buckled the him. Button. And then he gets the two or three punches in right before the final bell or God, horn or He got that right on, yeah, right on the button though. That uh, that knee came up and you know those those will those will shake your head very quickly. Oh, sloppy Joe Hamilton right next to us here. Uh, pretty pretty effective, pretty efficient first round here in his pro debut. Definitely, you know he did a little bit of striking. And obviously at the end with that knee, it was a good strike, but controlling the fight, you know, keeping Raftery on the cage or on his back. I mean, he's done well for, you know, his debut as a pro. Raftery 3-0 and as a pro, giving him a little bit of an experience edge here. What does he need to do to kind of swing that tide back in his favor? Yeah, well, he's going to have to keep his striking and keep his distance. He doesn't want to get wrapped up again on the cage. Um, and hopefully his head, you know, he's got the cobwebs out now from that knee, hopefully. Yeah. And he's got to get back to striking and moving. And striking and moving and trying, you know, not to get put on the mat again. So the big right knee. Late in the first round, giving Hamilton a little bit of a momentum, if you will, going here into round number two. Definitely a tough way to end a round. Oh, Almost yeah. Almost getting knocked out. Second fight in a row where we've seen that, though, where... One fighter really with a chance to, to basically end it in the closing seconds and that air horn coming at just the right time for the for Lonnie Burton in the last fight and now Raftery in this one. And Raftery is a southpaw too, that we never really pointed out or I didn't yet, but um, you know, throwing those straight lefts for him and keep moving and keep moving so Hamilton can't get him is what I think he should be doing. Raftery a kick there, didn't quite connect. Rafferty, though, looking still light on his feet with those kicks right he now. Did. So, I mean, that's, uh, that's a good sign that he's got the cobwebs out of his head. Yeah, well-timed well -timed break there. He seems to have gotten himself back into good position. Hamilton just over the top, but can't quite connect. Just over a minute gone by here in round number two. Rafferty, a good connection on the kick there. Hamilton looking for an opening after a good first round. Trying to sneak in. Raftery at this point has done a good job keeping him at bay here early in the second. He's done a bit, lot better job this round keeping his distance and not getting tight. Hamilton though waiting, as you see, waiting for his chance, you know. Patience so far, but you talk about frustration. The 
Doesn't look like it's going to kick in here per se as he has a hold of Raftery here. Gets a couple of good knees there. He's right in front of his corner here. So he's getting some nice instruction here at good close range. Maybe even listening to us going, man, that guy doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> those knees, though, those can, those can add up. Yeah. The side of the legs, the inside of the legs. Next thing you know, you well, can't. Well, the, the legs are where your power comes from. Next thing you know, you try and step in the ring and you can't, you can hardly move. Coaching again, continuing in close range. Joe Hamilton right in front of his coaches, his corner men. Raftery trying to get out of harm's way there. Spins free, and now we're back to center ring here. Halfway through round number two. Raftery coming off the cage, he'll now lose striking and, and looking condition. Hamilton with a little bit of a left hook there, he landed grazing anyways. Both fighters right now looking very composed. Something you don't see very often there is Raptor actually takes out his mouthpiece. Yeah, you don't want to take your mouthpiece out and try and feel, you know. It's just a tooth, it's no big deal. I've lost both age, of mine. If you're under the age of eight, they grow back. I, I think he's older. Oh, that could nice be a problem right. then. Nice straight right by Hamilton. And he'll get Raftery on the ground again. Ties him up in the corner. Elbow. Right in front of Raftery's corner. Elbow. Raftery's corner men talking to him, trying to get him out of there. Hamilton will drop a couple of elbows. Hamilton, good job controlling the fight, though. I mean, he's taking some shots, but at the same time. It's definitely being played at his speed, if you will. It's Yeah, he's controlling it. Nobody's overly winning, but he's definitely. It's, he's playing it out good for himself. Hamilton trying to throw a couple of lefts in there, just misfires on both of them. Raftery trying to wiggle himself free. Kicks Hamilton away, takes a couple of punches. Hamilton able to get right back in. Raftery almost had himself loose there. Inside a minute to go here in round number, uh, round number two. See if uh, Rafferty can play this last uh, you know, 35 seconds ago here about, see if he can live through it. Just try and control that left there that Hamilton yes, there, sprung yes, free there. with a couple of shots. Being pinned up the cage like that is not easy either. You're fighting um, two enemies there. Yeah, and that's a smart thing to do as a fighter. If you can slide the guy into the cage, you know, it, it, it makes it a little bit tougher. 15 seconds to go here in round number two. Our co-main event and our main event still ahead. On Front Street Fights, brought to you by bodybuilding.com. Second round in the books. So one round to go between Joe Hamilton and Brendan Raftery. Then comes our co-main event, Talon Hoffman. I know a fighter you know well. We'll talk more about him coming up. He'll take on Matt May, another fighter you know well. So a couple of, uh, you'll be able to give us some great insights coming up into our co-main event. And then our main event, George Stork and Nampa's Colton Vaughn. Those are the two fights yet to come after this one. And you got to think if the first two rounds are any indication, Raftery really needs to be the aggressor here in the third round, really needs to make some hay. Yeah. Uh, the judges are going to have to decide this. I mean, he's, I think he's definitely losing on the, on the scorecard. So... Um, he's definitely going to have to come out and maybe lay some big strikes, you know, maybe you know, try and put Hamilton down. I mean, that's what he's going to have to do. Hamilton, on the other hand, has done a pretty good job, we mentioned, making the, the fight his fight, his kind of fight, his tempo, his pace. And uh, if anything here, you're, you're probably telling Hamilton, hey, don't, you know, don't walk into anything here. Let's not do anything silly. Exactly. Yeah, keep, keep that same pace for him. Uh, he doesn't have to, you know, he's winning on the scorecard, which is corner should probably tell him is what I would think. And then just basically say, hey, don't don't get yourself in trouble. You know, but at the same time, he doesn't want to just uh, sit back either because did they just call the know. fight? They may have just called the fight. It looks like they just called the fight here. Don't know if something is wrong. Is the, the one of the corner men for Brendan Raftery came over and said something to the referee, and now everybody's 
shaking hands and, and saying hi. So you, you certainly hope it's not an injury issue. Yeah, you just don't know at this point, uh, you know, if, his, if he feels his head isn't right maybe. Um, you know, it, could have been, it could be anything, you know. So Hopefully Joe Hamilton serious. out of Twin Falls wins his pro debut tonight, 4-0 as an amateur, now 1-0 as a professional. And I thought he looked pretty solid in there. What he did, he, he, did. Play, he, played, he, did. His game, he played his game very well. As we'll just wait here for uh, the official announcement coming up, but I don't know what the official term is here, Jeremy, where it's just a, a resignation, a withdrawal. Uh, yep, yeah, he just, you know, he, he couldn't uh, couldn't make the third round. So, you know, his corner called it. Uh, hopefully it's nothing serious, uh, you know, that just hopefully something little. And uh, But it's good, you know, if you have good corner men, you know, people that care about you, your team, and they see something. More maybe, concerned about you than hey, a result. Exactly, yeah. yep. Yeah, and that's a good thing to do, and that's uh, that's why you trust the people you train with. Again, our next fight coming up, our co-main event, Talon Hoffman and Matt May. But first, we'll get to the bottom of this one here as Joe Hamilton picks up his first pro win. Ladies and gentlemen, as Brendan Rutherford is unable to continue the fight, answer the bell for the third and final round. Fighting out of the red corner, making his pro debut, Joe the Manage Hamilton! Big win for your sloppy Joe lovers everywhere. And let's hear from Mr. Joe Hamilton right now. All right, I'm here with Joe Hamilton and uh, Joe, not a local guy, but it sure sounded like you obviously traveled some fans from Twin Falls, didn't you? Yeah. Got a lot of family and friends around. Thank you guys for coming. A lot of people come. It's nice. What did you know coming into tonight's fight? You came in against an undefeated fighter in Brendan Raftery. Was he what you expected? Yeah. Uh, yeah I knew it was going to take a lot of work to beat him. I was going to stay busy. I you know, didn't necessarily perform like I wanted to the whole time, but uh, didn't get to put that third round in. But is good. Okay, what's next for you, Joe? Whatever Carl comes up with, just go back to work. Here we got David and Caesar coming up with big stuff. And just get back to work as soon as possible. Ladies and gentlemen from Twin Falls, Idaho, Joe Hamilton.